All right, this is the line for when I left, but uh, I wanted to give you a quick shot of the cover of the guest map for Islands of Adventure and Universal Resort in Orlando for the 18th of June. To get an idea of how long the line is for Harry Potter today, it stretches from Harry Potter through Jurassic Park through Toontown and almost all the way into Marvel comic area, you know, with Spider-Man ride is. So, it's insane, and it's noon already. So, these people are going to have a long shot to get in, but uh, heck of a line. I was wrong. The line continues over here and back there and over there and it appears that it just is endless. Some people say it stretches to the front of the park. It's it's insane and even out of the park, so unbelievable. Alright, Hogwarts is over there. Marvel Comics, Spider-Man's over there. The front entrance is right up here. And the line just goes on and on and on. It makes arriving here at 5 a.m. seem a little bit better. Awesome time. Do it. Just, wow. Have a great time at Universal. You'll love it. Here's the new map today for Islands of Adventure. Brand new, including the now open area of Harry Potter. When I left Harry Potter, I left this way to go back into Jurassic Park and saw that the line that was starting at the gates of Hogsmeade stretched through all of Jurassic Park, ran through Toon Town or, Ta or Toon Lagoon, went through Marvel's superhero uh, island, then stretched back to the main gate entrance and then wrapped over to Seussville. They were saying that the line was somewhere between five to seven hours long. The park was closed earlier this morning when capacity was met, but then they started letting people in after noon when I actually headed out because I'd been there since, oh gosh, six in the morning when we got in.